What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? Your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. What is going on? What is up? You remember a few, I guess maybe a few weeks ago, a month ago maybe, I did a video called, Do I Have the Clarence, Clarence, Terrence? Basically, I was saying, if you know, like people need, if they want to install an LSA in their, in their favorite muscle car, or what have you, uh, will, will it clear? Okay, will the hood clear the LSA? Well, will, basically, will the LSA fit under the hood? I, I got a lot of email about that. I got a lot of email about that from Chevelle heads and just about every, every any other type of muscle car head that wants to, you know, put an LSA in their car. So, you know, I got one of the most popular questions I've been getting from Chevelle heads were, would a standard hood fit with an LSA? Would an LSA fit under a standard hood? And being that I have a domed cow hood, it's kind of, it was kind of hard for me to give them an answer. And plus, it wasn't, you know, in the car. Now the engine's in the car. So now I can take some measurements and also do a few tests so I can find out and give you an accurate answer or a ballpark answer or, or you know, if, if you have to go with the standard hood. Because, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that love that standard hood. They don't want to put a, a cow hood or a dome hood on there, on their Chevelle. And for them, I say... Yo, do you, brother? And if that's what you, if that's what what floats your boat, yo, sail on, sail on, my friend. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, you see this hood right here? This is my dome hood. Now, I would only imagine. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, a standard, that means a straight Chevelle hood, probably doesn't have this opening right here. You see that opening right here? That was for where the 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 air cleaner would fit up in there so that's why they cowled it out because i guess the engine was a little high i don't know what the reasoning is but anyways i like the cow hood i like the dome hood but the standard hood i can only imagine correct me if i'm wrong please let me know it doesn't have this opening it's probably just straight across so what i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this masking tape and i'm gonna make like an x pattern from the the points that drop down the closest to the engine so it's right here i'm gonna keep from the masking tape from here, across, from here, across, from here, across, and from here, across. And then what I'm going to do is this part, this fin of the LSA, that is the highest point of the LSA. So I'm going to put a little bit of grease right on top of it. So, and then I'm going to close the hood. Now, if I close, when I close that hood, if the tape comes in contact with the grease, it will leave a mark on the tape. The grease will leave a mark on the tape, and then we know maybe you have an issue, or maybe you're going to have an issue with a standard hood. But if it doesn't, you, you might be okay if you to use a, a stock Chevelle hood. And then what I'm going to do for people who don't have Chevelles, I'm going to take some measurements off the engine, so you can go and you can take those same measurements on your car, whether it's an Oldsmobile, a Buick, a Ford, a, a Mopar, whatever, and you can see if it's going to interfere with closing on your hood on your favorite ride. So let's get let's get rolling. All right, as you can see, I got the tape across, almost like in a double X pattern, you know, all on its lowest points, or should I say, yeah, the lowest points facing the engine. And then what I did was I got that axle grease, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this hood, and if this LSA hits any part of the tape, we know that there may be an issue if you're using a standard hood. Now, as you notice, I had uh, put, this is the highest point. This fin right here is the highest point of the LSA. So if it hits any part of the tape, we, we may have some issues if you're using a standard hood. A cow hood, don't have an issue, but we're, we're going for a, for a standard hood. Check it out. Standard hood lovers, you may, you guys may be in luck. There's no red mark on this tape. You see? Look at that. You 
you can see, the grease has even been disturbed. Wow. All right, you standard hood lovers, yo. <laughs> you guys may be in luck. I should mention that, okay, the motor mounts, depending on what motor mount you're using, how high your perch is, and you know the pitch of the, the engine and you know that may cause a little difference in in, in test results but so what i'm going to tell you i'm telling you that i'm uh what i'm using is i'm using the stock chevelle perch from you know 1971 stock chevelle motor mounts from 1971 but they're not 1971 they're updated ones and i'm using stream performance brackets which move the engine back i think maybe two inches all right now, the pitch on my engine, when I say pitch, I mean, okay, let's say this is the engine, this is the transmission, all right, sitting like this. The pitch is, I believe, three degrees downward. So the highest point of the car is the engine, all right? So you, that may not weigh that much information. We're going to go over pitch and angles when I do the rear end differential and transmission in the 67, but that pitch may not mean that much, you know, in these results, but it may. So I'm just letting you know what I'm using and what I'm dealing with before we start the test. So let's begin the test. <laughs> I got my straight edge and I got my measurements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this straight edge across the top of this LSA, just like this. And I'm gonna pick some, some fixed set points and measure it so I can give you what the measurements are. And uh, that way you'll be able to measure and see if an LSA will fit under your hood if you have any issues. So let's, let's, let's start this. All right, so I'm gonna take my first measurement from the front of the engine. Now being that I got all this stuff in here, it's kind of hard to get to the valley pan because that's where I really want it to be. But I'm gonna measure from, this is the, the bolt head on the driver's side of the steam line. I'm gonna measure that to my straight edge. Got my tape rule on top of that head bolt not the head bolt, but the, the steam line bolt. And the bottom of the straight edge is about nine and a half. So it's about nine and a half inches from that steam line bolt on the driver's side to the straight edge, all right? That's in the front. So in the back, I can get to the valley pan, so that's gonna make measuring a lot easier. So from the back with the tape rule, the bottom tape rule touching the valley pan, it looks like to the straight edge, it's about 10 and three quarter inches. There's the measurements. So hopefully this helps you guys out if you guys are planning on doing this install and you ever said, oh, I wish some guy put a measurement so out there. So <laughs> here's the measurements. So I really hope this video helps you guys out when you're thinking about installing the LS in between the fenders of your favorite ride and then nestling the LSA on top of that LS engine. Really hope it helps you out because you know, it's all about sharing the knowledge, all about you know, that's why I give you the measurements. So hopefully, hopefully you get a little bit more confidence in, because I can understand it's probably going to be like, oh, I wonder, you know, like if this is going to fit and then you maybe have second thoughts, but hopefully these measurements will help you guys out. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall. I'll try to say ceiling. Time for me to head on out. And before I do, I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Yes, you too. All right. Because if it wasn't for you guys, if it wasn't for you guys, there would be no me. So I just want to give you guys like the big, mm, big hug. All right. But I'm about to head on off. And as always, please, as always, be easy. And I will catch you guys a little later. Take care.